And I want to take a moment to thank you personally and Atlanta News First. You are part of the reason that we are here today. Wow. Right now at 430 and Atlanta News First investigates exclusive. This morning, Governor Brian Kemp signed into law a bill expanding restrictions for convicted sex offenders in Georgia. House Bill 188, known as Miriam's Law, follows several Atlanta News First investigations exposing a loophole. It allowed a repeat sex offender to get out of prison only to prosecutors say kidnap and kill 27 year old Miriam Abdul Rob on her way home from work. Investigator Rachel Polanski broke this story for us last year and has been following it every step of the way. Rachel joins us from live outside the Capitol. And Rachel, you were the only reporter there today. What was it like to be inside that room? Yeah, it was an emotional day here at the Capitol for Miriam's family and friends. I think Miriam's brother really said it best when he said he felt like he was running a marathon, crossed the finish line, and could finally grab that bottle of water. Now, the family truly believes that the restrictions that will come into place because of this law will help make the community a safer place. In the weeks after Miriam Abdelrab was kidnapped and murdered, her brother Ali and his family were overcome with grief. Then as more details came out, the trauma intensified. Atlanta News First investigates dug into Miriam's alleged killer's history and uncovered DeMarcus Brinkley had a record of violent crimes, including child molestation, attempted rape, and cruelty to children. Brinkley was also supposed to register as a sex offender. But when he was released from prison in 2020, we found he never received a risk level assessment. That's where Miriam's brother Ali says Miriam's law comes into the picture by requiring sex offenders who have not received a risk level assessment to be fitted with ankle monitors. I think it'll be a big part of uh, preventing future crimes uh, like Marion's from happening. Um, I see it saving lives. Once leveled, the most dangerous offenders would have to wear the monitors for the duration of their probation, while lower level offenders could have them removed under certain conditions. Representative Stephen Saines and Senator John Albers co-sponsored the legislation. We're doing this to keep families safe because we know that a GPS monitor on individuals who are likely to reoffend is going to prevent future victims from, from reoccurring. We need to make sure that if someone is no longer incarcerated in jail, that they still also don't pose a threat uh, to society. And after months of committee meetings, along with House and Senate votes, Miriam's law finally made its way to the governor's desk. And with that, it became law. Feeling really good, probably the best ever during this whole process. Huge weight off of my shoulders for finally getting this done. A relief for family and friends who celebrated, not just with photos. That's cool. But also tattoos. I have HB 188, um, stands for House Bill 188. That's right, tattoos with HB 188, honoring Miriam and her law that they believe will save lives. Love always wins. Uh, the love that Miriam left behind was a huge part of uh, getting this law into place. I want to point out that this now I do want to point out that this new law passed before Miriam's alleged killer, Demarcus Brickley, has even gone to trial. Of course, he is indicted on nine felony counts, including murder, kidnapping, and attempted rape. While multiple motions and appeals have been filed in this case, a trial date has not yet been set. Reporting live from the Capitol tonight, Rachel Polanski, Atlanta News First. Rachel, you covered this story from the beginning to the very end.